Good morning, it's Tuesday, April 21st. Um, one of the things that Rich and I have been doing and trying to be really careful about it when we go out is to be able to wear our accessories. So hopefully you guys are wearing your beautiful accessories and new fashion statements in the new normal uh, everywhere you go when you go to grocery stores. All right, today we're going to finish our owl and add our patterns to it. All right, we're going to continue today. I'm gonna to show you some possibilities of where you might want things. Um, we have Pam's uh, drawing here that shows different ones so that you know that you can just make the designs however you want. I thought we yesterday we filled in this with the circles. We might just make a line in this part of our um, wing and do the one that was the triangles. So make a line and make little triangles all along it. And go all the way around. And then we're going to take and go with a line that goes out and around, out. Kind of interesting how you adapt these from just the squares that you learn in the squares to how you can adapt them to the design to whatever shape that you want it to go so we made lines like this and then we went from this upward curve and did a swirl this upward curve and made a swirl with a little dot in it And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And the swirl can be smaller depending on the shape that you have. And you can do that all the way around. We divided the, the owl's front part into four sections. I thought in this middle one we might do the interweave where we started with little boxes. And the fun part here is the boxes don't have to all be the same shape. You can make them bigger or smaller. You can make them be diagonal to each other. They don't have to be exactly square. They're just gonna fit your design, whatever fits your design. And you can have pieces of it coming off because if, you're, if your design is not enough room to make it look like that pattern is going all the way across, you can add little sections like it's going across. Now, our interweave, if you remember, we just had curves that were going behind. Our design. And then we had one that went over and stopped like it was going under and solided it in.
Now, once you get that all done, if you wanted to, you could put some stippling dots in the background just to make that be a little bit different than the other. You can use that variation however you want. This one, we're going to do our manholes where we started, if you recall the design, we start with circles and we're going to add lines connecting those circles. And we're going to connect them all across this way also. Then inside those rectangles that we've created, we're going to make another circle. And inside those circles, we can do anything we want. Today, I'm just going to make three lines going across. And I'm going to solid in these. On the bottom part, you can have the lines where you going across where you create this pattern or you can do some lines like this where we made just the lines and then we connected up and down in a zigzag pattern and then just made lines to go around those lines. And you could add another variation. You could add some circles. In the feet, we could try our parallel lines, but they don't always have to be parallel. You can make the lines be kind of curved. Still parallel, but I mean, they can be, they don't have to always be straight lines. So we can make our lines be curved. Even inside the toes, you can make just like some lines going across if you wanted to, to create some texture there. On the uh, right wing, I thought we might use our, our little uh, line made with the, the triangles. So we can have our triangles that just kind of curve along down the wing. And then we're going to go into it on one side and stop at the other to make it look like it's a string. There, I went a little too far, didn't I? Okay, so we're going to make it come up underneath. And you can have a string going along. On this one, we thought maybe we would just do the circles. Remember we talked about you can do all kinds of things for circles. You can make big circles, little circles. And she used circles, Pam used circles, and then she made all this little solid part right behind the circles to kind of create kind of a light and dark. We can do some swirls and have the ends, and the swirls can go all different directions. On the nose, I think it might be fun just to make some lines that are kind of curved, like a nose might be. And then maybe make some lines going this direction every other one. On the top part, we can make some of our little um, banana shape shapes.
and create patterns inside of those. They could be little dots. You could have lines. You could have triangles. You could have other lines inside it to create all kinds of different patterns inside those. Pam used um, zigzags on the eyes. And I thought we might try something different on this one as far as we might make little arches going around the eyes. Just to show you that you can do different things. All right, I'm gonna make another little arch. Just to give you ideas. And then inside here, I'm gonna make some straight lines. And go on around. Um, at the top, just to kind of as a design that might be for the eyelids as far as uh, you can take and and go like the lines we did as far as like the dragon air curve up and then we're going to do like the little s where we kind of curve around back like this curve around back like that. and then add a little line In the little area of the ear, we could do the one that we did the other day called wild lettuce. And basically, you're just doing a zigzag. Pattern. And then we're adding little loops at each of the different sections. At the top, Thought we might divide it into sections and then divide these by X's. And then we would use our swishes that go back and forth. and we would finish that out. Okay, I'm gonna stop this for a minute and then I'm gonna finish it out and end up this video by showing you what it looks like when it's done. All right, here we go. So we have our finished owl. Things that you can do to kind of add a little accent is you can use your pencil to add some shading under parts where if this is supposed to look like it's over the top of that, so we've added a little shading. You can use your pens and make the areas that divide one section from the other section a little darker, just to kind of give that a little bit of difference. We had a little shading up here, a little shading at the top, a little shading down here. So you can just kind of add that until you're happy with your drawing. From here, if you wanted to take colored pencils or watercolor, if you've used the Micron pens, they will not run, and so you can actually even watercolor over it. Have fun. All right, that's it for Tuesday. Finish up your owl, put on some music, enjoy it, have a good time, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Don't forget to wash your hands.